Thursday, August 18th. I'm going to just simply do a real quick video here um, and just show you and listen, all of you have got this right. I mean, this is a big storm. Someone said that uh, it reminded them of Jupiter and boy, that was a spot on observation. It does, doesn't it? So um, we've all been watching this and we continue just to see these wind speeds. Um, I know someone had said that they had saw that it was normal for a thousand miles or an hour. I don't think that's maybe kilometers. I, I don't know. I, th I think a thousand miles an hour in the upper jet stream at this level would be devastating for us down here. Someone also said, well, they were in uh, Australia and it was a very balmy calm. Well, you know, again, we're looking at the upper jet stream, and if you go down to the surface level and you look over here, you would not even be aware. There's a storm, obviously, to the southern part. But, yeah, I could see where you can see it's very tranquil. Um, but, again... We're looking up here at the 250 millibar level and higher. Um, so, which leads me to come to this. So we all have been watching this and this is becoming more defined. So, when you see something in one particular graph, one particular set of data points, I always try to go back and see, can I find another piece of collaborative um, evidence going with the observation that I am seeing? So, went over to windy.com and lo and behold, yeah, there you go, folks. Uh, two, well, actually, I do know that Earth um, Null here, They this is a combination of three different programs. Wendy has their own proprietary program. Um, I don't know what those algorithms are, but ladies and gentlemen, I would submit to you that this is clearly north-south. Not east, west, north, south. And on this particular map, I find it found it also interesting how you can see what's taking place up here. I mean, folks, our planet is really going under some amazing changes. And I'm also having to take this into balance and saying, okay, you know, we're coming up now to uh, clearly the change of the seasons. The sun is now moving from the northern hemisphere to the southern. Okay, so are we going to expect to see some disruptions? Imagine so, but I don't think we're expecting to see anything in a north-south. Just don't see that. And then to go back here and to see that confirmed again, just tells me that there is changes unfolding. I wish I had a crystal ball to see what this is, but I will give you a personal observation here. And it may mean nothing to many, but I find sometimes it's the small anecdotal evidence that we overlook. So I live here in Colorado, um, outside Denver, and we have noticed a distinct change, um, as I mentioned before, with our bird feeders. Uh, our finches are leaving. They're gone. And finches love this particular area because of the warmth uh, that the summer, but it's obvious that nature is giving signals. So if the farmer's almanac is correct, all of us here in uh, the northern North America uh, may need to really <laughs> buy up on the firewood. 
So anyway, folks, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I really do think that there is something unfolding down here. Um, this is not normal. I've gone back and I can't find uh, vortices like this uh, with this intensity. And as you can see, the, the wind speed is increasing in here as well. Um, it continues to climb. And one last point, let's look at the temperature and see if that core is still developing. And it is. Um, the, yeah. So we got a minus 42 degrees centigrade. Um, let's get down here. There's a, almost a minus 70. So there is some cold uh, air associated, but here we're definitely seeing um, a much warmer side to this. So that tells me that's what you need for a good storm. All right, folks, have a great day. We'll talk soon.